John. Hello and welcome to Bromatsu 3 Gamers. We're going to do Dynasty Warriors Lu Bu Historical Route. I'm, I'm Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and that's John. <laughs> that was great. Hit back. Hey, go new game. Right. Yes. <laughs> Chaos. Okay, yeah, we got it. Chaos? What is that? Yeah, it's chaos, yeah. man. It's Lou Boo. I tell you to do it on insanity, but you know. <sighs> yeah, you get a point. It is sort of Lou Boo. Oh! Yeah? <laughs> John? You're going to have to stop all this. Why is that? The TV Oh, uh, the TV. Well, you know what? I'm going to lower There's gonna it. There's going to be an echo for a few seconds, but. It's not like Michael there was too it. much talking in it. If it had been Lou Boo talking, I am Lou Boo. I am oh, Lou my Boo. lord. Can somebody pick up my, uh, Albert? Oh, it takes like three of us. God damn it. <laughs> swacky, 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 swacky. Why did you smack your dick with your Halbert? Because I could. <laughs> swacky, swacky, swacky. How do you think it makes it so heavy? He was a powerful warrior of unbearable martial ability. Except for Guan Yu. Guan Yu was thing. the greatest. Training at 100. It's Christopher Walken's birthday. Training at under 100 okay. times Earth's gravity will... No, you just reminded me. Will crap out your spine. It will. I don't care. Look at my nipples and how they are. <laughs> exactly. right, well, I guess I'll be Lu Bu, and I guess I'll use Lu Bu's weapons. I weapons. guess you'll be Lu Bu. What other character do you think you're going to play? <laughs> All oh, right. I'm sorry. Ten guys decided to rebel. No, they didn't rebel. They were forced to shit. Four people technically are rebelling. Yes. But they said, fuck it, we're just gonna wipe the whole clean slate. No, no, four people are attacking the uh, ten eunuchs. Oh, right. The eunuchs technically are the ones in power. Ding Yuan, Dong Zhuo, Yuan Shao, and... Uh... Well, isn't that also because they attacked Hu Ji? He no, he Jin didn't like the eunuchs and was like, yeah, we should kill them. And they're like, I don't know. They're like, look, my sister, she's the empress. We should totally kill all the eunuchs because they're freaking useless. We're better than them. I plan on bringing this to a swift end. I forgot you had that still like that. Yeah, but I mean, I... Worse comes to worse. What, what's it gonna do? I, mean, I don't know. It's, I it, it, to me, it's just annoying. Though, to me personally, because it's like you might want to switch to your other halberd. The other dude's got the advantage on you. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for nine. They put up some new characters for uh, Musa Blast. Who they put up? Uh, do you? Never heard of him. The guy who conquers Wu. Oh. Oh, so they added Jin. Yeah, they added another one to Jin. Is that it? I th think they added somebody else. I'm gonna look it up. Because I was looking at it, I was like, that's... He, he is the... Like... They make... Uh, whatchamacallit... The whitest yeah. characters ever. Like, they're supposed to be Chinese, but they are... They are Gaijin and a half. Gaijin superpower... And and do you looks like the whitest dude you have ever met. Well his name is Do You. Do you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Anybody unfamiliar that you probably should switch off. I don't know what you got this in. Yeah. The only reason I'm not is because of Boo Boo. Oh Jameson Price. Yeah, they are an unruly mob. Cut them down. Trying to see, because I thought there was someone Wu. Oh, they had a Bu Chan and Wu. I don't know who he is, but he has a gourd, so I guess he's important. <laughs> was that a piece of bread? Um, in the picture, was he just holding bread? No, he said he had a gourd. Oh, okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What else do they have here? 
Not too many others. Like, they added some, like, alternates for some characters. I have a feeling any characters that get, like, us might have a higher chance of being in, like... I think so, too, because I think they're ones that people like. So, Leo Quad, definitely, because he's got, like, three different cards. Really? Yeah, he's got Disciplined Mind. He's got, like, I think they call it, like, the... Well, we'll see. It's the uh, Sengo Yoshi Royal. I believe he has one, or he had uh, one for also, a while. Uh, never save him. He is destined to die here. Oh, okay. Oh, they added Huji to the shoe. I don't know who he is, but he's got a fox on his shoulder and he's got a map. So, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, see, they got Leo Kwa, Senko Yushi, Leo Kwa, and then they also have Disciplined Mine. Where he's like, yes. God, uh, I like that. Off. I like that better. I think it honestly the the first one they show off he doesn't look that like he doesn't look that good and I think that's what my problem was and then when I seen that disciplined mind one it's like that is awesome uh, I've always said that he should have been in it do you oh god um all right I gotta go this way against the Yang Hu. Yang Hu. Wow. Yang Hu. Yang Hu is, and this is where it doesn't make as much sense because Yang Hu oh, is uh, Du Yu's master. But he looks younger. I know. It confused me too. I don't think they added anybody to other, but they should definitely add more other characters. Oh, Yuan Shu. Yeah, it seems like a nice kid. I still like Ma Tang's unicorn horn of righteousness. You know who else has one? Wen Chao. Yeah. He's got the horn. He's got the luchador horn of justice. Wait, go to my favorite one. Where is he? Way. Who is it? Han Sui, man. A chow. Yeah. With that porno stash. And that Italian cape. <laughs> That's his. That that'll be his weapon. Italian cape. I won't be surprised. Yeah, I'm gonna go catch that. Yeah. Doesn't the carriage stop after you kill him or defeat him? I think so. Yeah, you secure oh. the emperor. All right. Now we just so now you gotta go back and do other stuff. Let's go. It's it's blue. At this point, how would it be? It's, it was cool it's in Seven Empires. Hua Xiang! It's... It's... The Bastard of Three Fathers! He hasn't got to that point yet. He hasn't killed his second or his third father. Yeah, this is his second father that he's going to kill. Yeah. Dong Zhuo will be the third. <laughs> he's getting there. The fuck? <laughs> the Bastard of Three Fathers. <laughs> Oh, man. I still love the fact that even though apparently they were forced to serve on him, Zhang Fei was the only one that apparently openly did not give the fucks required for him. Uh, I don't care who you are! <laughs> I think he even refers to it as that, uh, like, a bunch of times. Sounds like something Zhang Fei would say. It's just like, whatchamacallit, hey, let's hear you. how Guan Yu never calls Zhang Fei brother. Not yeah. once in this whole fucking game. <laughs> yeah, not once has he ever referred to his brother. And Zhang Fei never refers to him as brother either. But at least Zhang Fei had a reason for that. After, um... What was it? The Battle of Shu Province. At when Guan Yu disappears and joins up with Cao Cao. Mm -hmm. that he, he had the legitimate claim on him that... Well, he sort of betrayed, you know, uh, Liu Bei. Because he served Cao Cao. But you're right. They do. Those two never acknowledge each other. Those two never call each other brother. Brothers yeah. are only reserved for like Liu Bei. And Liu Bei will refer to both of them as brother, except for, you know, he'll refer to both of them as brother, but he doesn't seem to like to go out of his way to call Zhang Fei brother. Yeah, that takes care of the eunuchs. Like usually, he refers to them like, "Oh, our brothers." <laughs> Would he be like, Guan Yu? Guan Yu is dead? No! Huh? Don't you get it? Fat Man Paradise. Exactly. The land is in chaos. What 
do you think can fix that? You know what? I think Money? this, I think this is going to be a, a double episode because that only took ten minutes. <laughs> All right. This is the path. Such, Such greed and villainy. <laughs> we may have underestimated just how uh, quickly Lu Bu tears yeah. everything down. Yeah, I figured it'd be two episodes at a time anyway. Uh, Any news? So Any at all? Nope. Nothing at all. Just hey, there's supposed to be a big announcement. And join me as my so, yeah, well, great. hopefully that'll be the uh, next game. That would be cool. Are, uh, <laughs> I just hope it wasn't the movie. I hope so too. Cause that that would be kind of a letdown. Well, the movie could be cool. I mean, it could be, but it doesn't mean that it's not a letdown. Yeah, I guess. I, I know you said his armor's supposed to be, like, copper and stuff, but that... that, that or it's like, supposed to have, like, brass underlays and things like that. But it like looks that. awesome like that. It's just pure black. Do not disappoint me. I don't know. I like the color of red and... I like his color of black and I like red. red and black together. It looks cool. Yeah. That's why I went crazy for those... Rah, rah, rah. Richard Eckhart voices Dong Zhuo. Yeah. They talk about him a lot. <clears throat> He's a good voice actor. And Mike keeps calling him our lord and savior. Yes. Followed by his only begotten son, Stephen J. Bloom, and uh, his two apostles, uh, you know, Nolan North and uh, Troy Baker. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dong Zhuo, the powerful nobleman from the West... <laughs> I thought you were going to say okay. something else. Like <laughs> Lu Bu said, sided with Dong Zhuo, even saved his adopted father, Ding Yuan, in order to join him. <clears throat> Later, Dong Zhuo was appointed to a high-ranking position and began a reign of terror which included dethroning the emperor. In response, Yuan Shao, Sa Sao, and numerous other warlords formed a coalition against Dong Zhuo. But mostly Sun Jian. Damn right. Determined to put a stop to him, they marched up to his stronghold at Hulao Gate. Recognizing that he was at a disadvantage, Deng Zhuo immediately decided to relocate the capital to Chang'an. He ordered Lu Bu and his general Zheng Liao to engage the enemy in order to facilitate his withdrawal from Liu Yang. The unparalleled might of the godly Lu Bu still found itself trapped under the rule of another. <gasps> That's the end of our episode. Please like. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I know you're going to get tired of this, but literally... I don't like Jang Liao that much. And I'm probably just gonna be rocking this guy until Lu Ling Chi becomes available. That's fine. I mean, it's the Lu Bu story. I mean, I'll play. Is there no one else that can offer me a true challenge? I'll probably play as so talk to Jang me. Liao eventually, anyway. What's up, my conquistador friend? Yeah, he does kinda have that kinda head. What's up, bitch? In your slutty outfit? You're asking for it. I know it. You're seeing me undress you with my eyes. I know and you you're did. all okay with it. What's your name? I know you want it. I know you want it. You're a good girl. Well, you, I mean, she only goes for it because me. it was a plot, right? I think that that's what I remember. <clears throat> her job was to use her feminine wiles to get Lu Bu to kill Dong Zhuo. You know, listen, Lu Bu's an idiot. Kind of, yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, he does. He, he fucks up in the end. <laughs> he fucks up. He doesn't listen to his strategist. He <laughs> listens to his wife. Yeah. Well, you know, the whole the whole argument that comes between Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu is over uh, a whore. Yeah, I know. Dong Zhuo's like, I'm totally gonna fuck this one lady. And Lu Bu's like, but I like that lady. And, you know, Dong Zhuo's like, yeah, too bad. Uh, it's mine now. He's like, whoa, 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 that's not cool at all. You want to you go to fisticuffs about this? And Dog Zhuo's like, I'm not having your crap. And Dog Zhuo, you know, stood there. There's and like, my elephant horse. Yeah. He's like, what are you going to do about it? And Lu Bu threw an axe at him. <laughs> you know what I love about this? Is the fact that this battle is not how this goes down. Usually he sets the place on fire and is already on the lead. This one, they make it seem like, you know, for some reason he can't go through Chang on. I'm sorry, Luo Yang. He has to ride up to the north. No, no, he should already be in Luoyang. Yeah. If they were gonna go with how this is and be not the fact under that you know, he's just chilling. Yeah, like oh, I'm already leaving, guys. No, the fact that he was in that base down there. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no, he's already on his way out the door. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm leaving. I, I can't have this. Okay, so he had already retreated by the time the battle took place, or you're saying he didn't? He did already retreat. Technically, the only people who should be here would be Lu Bu, Hua Xiong, and uh, I think... What's his name? Zhang Liao? No. No. Zhang Liao would not be here. I'll look him up, because he looks evil. Evil! The evil-looking guy we keep talking about? No. Huh. He would have definitely been leaving with Dong Zhuo. Wait, why does he look evil? Does... No, the dude who would be here was their strategist. And oh! Li oh. Uh, Li Jue. Yeah, Li Jue. Wow, really? He would have... I thought Li he would Jue. Have left. No, no. Li Jue was their strategist here. It was him... Washiang and whatchamacallit. Lu Bu? Lu Bu. Lu Bu led the cavalry, Huaxiang led the whole thing, and Li Jue was his, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, I love this. It says the coalition sent it ablaze. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, if you play the. You guys have seen, if you look back at our way playthrough of Hu Lao Gate, Dong Zhuo lit the place on fire. But yeah, that's what they depict Li Jue as. <laughs> there, Bob. Oh yeah, that 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 is someone who hands you a poison apple. That is. Oh, it's Hong Gai and Hong yeah. Dong. Um. Yeah, he killed. He took them. Blah blah blah. Uh, historical information. A little strategist. Chen Gong. Uh, uh, Chen Gong. Hey, Hong Dong, you're. Impaled. Yep. You know what the funny part is? This is probably the only thing they get right. Is that Sunjian's forces would have been actually fighting them. Yeah, they would have been on the front lines. <coughs> but even then, it's like, Ooh. you know. Shakalaka? Uh, let's see. It's like you just shout at someone and kill them. Which I think Lubu could do. If he's anything like he is depicted here, Lubu, he could have shouted at someone you know and killed him. The funny him. thing is, Lupu is more known for being a great archer. Yeah. Which is funny because most of the other characters are known for being great archers. Like, everybody's known for being a great archer. Uh, now you're just going to go ahead and wipe out the coalition forces? <laughs> wipe out the coalition forces, he says. This one is my guy. Man, well, you're I'll Lupu, be so maybe you can tie? Listen, man, what, what's going to be happening here is I'm going to pray that they don't kill the guys up in the north before I get there. Look, let's just stop and be honest here. Lu Bu got his ass handed to him at this battle. If we were going by this battle alone, you would not know that Lu Bu is like the god of destruction in this game. That they keep touting is. Yeah. The truth is, he would just be railroaded. No one in this fight would have had any fame unless, you know, they... Except for, like, Hua Xiong. Yeah. And even then, he, his fame would quickly be diminished because he'd be killed by uh, Sun Jian. And then he would have turned and got his ass handed to him by whatchamacallit. Yeah, they don't, they don't tell you that, is that Hua Xiong was the Lu Bu of Lu Bu. Before Lu Bu, even Lu Bu. Yep. He was Lu Bu. Better than Lu Bu. Yeah, you're right. He was like Guan Yu and Lu Bu together. He was loyal, he was strong, he was powerful. But he lost to Sun Jian because don't matter. Once the Sun shows up, y'all dead. Oh, I'm sorry, it was Li Ru. Li oh, Ru was Li actually Ru. at the battle. So it's not the crazy guy? Wait, wait a second. He might actually be. Oh, shut up, Batman. Not you. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. Oh, hey, Kong Rong. I must return while I am still. <clears throat> I must return. Dong Shua's retreat will be paved with the blood of his enemies. Or not. Isn't there anyone who wants to see the actual battle of Gulage, not the. Oh, yeah! Because Shu shows up and kicks his butt. Mm, that's all the story. 
that's all the book. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't even there. Liu Bei. These guys were literally dealing with the remnants of the Yellow Turbans. They were off doing other stuff. They also actually mentioned, you know, like, what's more called technically, they're like kind of screwing around the whole time. There we go. Dang, guys, dude. Nice. With a decent challenge? It'll be more than one battle of Hulao? No, they're doing a weird thing. Alright, there's no one in there. Weird, weird, weird. Alright, well, at least we're making progress, helping uh, the... You see, this battle can also go really tits really fast. Exactly. If those guys up top die? Yes, and also, uh... Once we get past this gate, we will get bombarded by every non-generic officer up to this point. Who could possibly be here? Sun Jian, Jahadun, Cao Cao, Liu Bei, Zhang Fei. They'll all show up. Yuan Xiao. They, they just show up and they swarm the carriage and you lose if the carriage... Oh well, yeah, because it's got the up. emperor in it. Yep. Who gets kidnapped a lot. What do we have here? Oh shut up, Chengong. You weren't such a great strategist. Mm. You're only the only thing you kept suggesting was a fucking pincer attack. Exactly. I think we should I think we should levy the castle. And then Lubu doesn't even acknowledge him. So this is the might of the famous The famous General Lubu. There we go. Impressive, most impressive. Mike, remind me. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have any fame at this point, right? He would have still been somewhat of a nobody. Lubu? Lubu would have had some fame, but he would not have been enough to be like He would not like what Shingon said. Oh the famous He wouldn't have been as renowned, but he he was he was a, a high enough that he would have been somewhat known because he was the he led the cavalry. All right. So he had a but high rank. Been, but he wouldn't have been. People wouldn't have treated him the same as Hua Xiong. Oh no, they would not have. Exactly. They would have been like Hua Xiong. Oh God, no. Who's this Lu Bu? It's Lu Bu. Yeah, but Hua Xiong. Hua Xiong. One day, One day Master Lu Bu, our crabs, our paths will cross. Cross will paths. Uh, you know, it makes sense that Chen Gong would want to, uh... I like how far they put me in enemy lines. <laughs> when I should be running backwards because Li Dian's nah, doing this. And Dong Zhuo was at this battle. Because ah. it says, this time Dong Zhuo sent Hua Xiang, Hu Zhen, and Lu Bu with 5,000 men to attack soon. However, Lu Bu, who was in charge of the cavalry, was not in good terms with Hu Zhen and quarreled with him. Sun Jian seized the opportunity to attack and Zhang Zhuo's forces were defeated in a rout. Hua Xiang was captured by Sun and promptly executed. <laughs> uh, at this time, someone told Yuan Shu that if Sun Jian defeated Dong Zhuo and took over the capital, he would be not controllable anymore. That's where that whole big problem comes in. And so this is also Sun where shit will go up. And Sun Jian basically tells him about how fucking awesome he is. He's like, dude, dude, it, I have no problems with, uh, whatchamacallit. I have no no quarrels, no fight with uh Yeah, well, Sean, I'm gonna try and get to you. Problem is everyone else is also in danger. See that's where this thing can go wrong. Because if I let Dong Zhuo go too unprotected, he will die. Like history says he should. Well, I couldn't do it. Well, it's on chaos. I mean, if you do it on normal, it's not that it's easy, it's just not as hard. Yeah, but I'm upset that I couldn't get him. Well, do we get a hypothetical thing? Or? Yeah, well, he is what the hypothetical is. Oh. So without him there, you can't really do the hypothetical. Yeah, I just did all that. 
No, no, well, well, no, no, well no. guys, you know, shit happens. We'll show you the things you have to do eventually. Yeah, it's literally it's not that hard. The hardest thing on this stage is literally making sure Dong Zhuo doesn't die and getting to Paul Shang before shit gets real. Nah. See? Now I gotta deal with this. You have to deal with freaking everybody. What are you doing? Put a stop to these guys and get me out of here! He's probably bossy. Yeah. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, most of the famous officers are also inspired. No, I don't care, Lee Room. <laughs> well, at least you're up front with them. That's, yeah, man. What the? Now you just gotta kill everyone. Great. <laughs> Fucking thing got in my way. I was like, what, who's attacking? Who's hitting me? <laughs> I'll moose out my leg. That'll solve all the problems. You're all getting a taste of the bitch pudding. Oh, fucking archers. I'm truly impressed by you. Oh, Dom's health bar at least looks alright. Yeah, uh, that's my main... That was my main prerogative. Make sure the fat asshole didn't die. Hey, Jun look. Yu. There's Jun Yu, yeah. And Cheng Pu. Cheng Pu! <laughs> 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 I'll let you live, Ching Poo. Because you're Ching Poo. Exactly. You're the pooest of Chings. Yep. And Sun Jian is the guy who actually beats him at this battle, right? Yep. Yep. So, um, beat no. him and we're already ahead of history. Well, I mean, if you go by the historical one, yeah, we're ahead of history. But if you go by the, uh, the book, technically, we haven't killed Guan Yu would put us behind the barrel. Yeah. There we go. You, you guys make it sound like the book gives a lot to shoot. It does. They do. It's I they, forgot Jun Yu wasn't a... Uh... It's blatant favoritism. They, even the historians say that. They're like, the, the people who wrote the book literally were blatantly... Uh, they were from Shu's area. So they blatantly gave Shu... Um, most of the credit that other kingdoms. Yeah, they, they favored them. All the right. games seem pretty fair about it, though. No, well, not really. Not really, because they go off the books, not the actual history. Well, they follow some of the actual history, and then a lot of times they just are like, well, let's go with the book. Because it's more dramatic. Yeah. It is. Alright, we're just going to go this way because you're the closest... Dongzhua, please, don't freaking die. At least not until you're supposed to. Which is the next stage. We didn't need Hua Xiong to get the one stage, right? Like, no. Okay. I have, to do a, already, I have to do a bunch of stuff in the next stage. Yeah, and since we're already said this isn't going to be the hypothetical run, and we don't really need to show you... We don't need to show you us saving Hua Xiong, it's literally just you have to save him. And all you have to do yeah. to save him is run up I mean, to where he is. It's not like this is a walkthrough or uh, you know yeah. like a whole. This is just us yeah. playing. I mean, even on even when I did this. Cool, though. Trust me, I would have loved it. But this game is all. This board has also taught me that if I leave Fatty McFadderson by himself for too long, that's where you need like two players. Exactly. If I leave him down there too long by himself, you see that? See how most of that red's all gone? If I didn't take care of that. He might have been, like, less than half health by now, and I would have had to worry about him. And literally, all you have to do to save Hua Xiong is, once you save him from whoever he's fighting, which is Dian Wei, no one fucks with him for the rest of the battle. Like, he'll just stay in that one spot. And yeah, no he's will... pretty much got, like, permanent yeah. uh, health. Like, he won't move. Yeah. And no one will attack him. Oh, well, at least that's convenient. Hey, you! I'm gonna serve you, and then, you know, I'm also gonna call you little brother. And totally betray you. Yep. Take your castle, fill the moat, hide in it for years. Have a daughter, keep her a secret. No, a lot of people knew about what you call it. A lot That's of people knew about her because nobody wanted to marry her. Because her dad was scary. No... Because Lu Bu was useless. Yep. 
live royal marry somebody you know is gonna fail. Oh, there's the end. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we did. <coughs> I feel like if they evened out some of like the uh, the other people, like you know, like in the other campaign, uh, it would make the game a little bit more interesting because you'd have a little bit more named officers to deal with. Sao Sao, when he fights Yuan Shao, would not be fighting Zhang Hei and Zenji, and that's it. Yeah, he'd, he'd be oh, fighting he like. Up here. Oh. He'd be fighting like, uh, whatchamacallit, Yan Liang, the guy you just killed back there. He would have been a named officer. And... Yeah, there are plenty of officers they should add, but I don't know. That's going to take up space, I think, here. I don't program, so. Uh, space isn't the problem. Storage, yeah, wouldn't be the problem. The problem, more or less, would be voice acting. It would be that, and, you know, what do they want to do with the story? Yeah. Like, who do they want to put in there? Yeah. And how relevant well, would they be to the they, plot? they do an Others campaign in this, so why not? I mean, then at least well, that's you'd have... Others. I'm talking about... I'm talking about the actual, you know... Like, Shu Wu. It's like, those, they actually have thought, like, you know, to who they will add... Yeah, well, I was saying these other ones would oh, have right. uh, people, too, uh, that would make sense. There you go. All right. We made it. All five of us. Like, Lee Jue would make sense, because yeah. he's around for a very I'm long time. I love the fact that we just need to seize the emperor and I did all that work <laughs> for very little. I'm not even going to... He's like, about those who followed Hulao Gates... And Lu Bu's like, Master Lu Bu. What about me? So this is how he fights. What about I? What about me? So this is how he fights it out. If you would say it's Wa Shang, literally all that happens at this stage is at the end he tells you like, "Thanks for saving my bacon, bro." I I'm gonna you. go take a nap for like I don't know two or three years. Come back like a fucking you know. However, Wa Shang and the others who fought at Hulao Gate were slain by the coalition forces. Technically, just Sun Jian. Oh, he's not paying to tell you that. Uh, Dr. Wall continued his tyranny, causing the land to fall into ruin and the power of the Han to further decline. Decline. That's a good word. Yes. One of the Han ministers, Wang Yuan, devised a plot in an effort to rectify the situation. This guy fucks up. Yeah. First, he sent his adopted daughter, Dao Chan, to serve by the side of Dong Zhuo. At the same time, he looked to place her near Lu Bu so that he might slay Dong Zhuo. Okay, this is what I was talking about. She... It was a secret plot to use jealousy and rage to help overcome tyranny. Dao Chan was eager to repay her obligation to her father and proceed to use her skills towards the help to deceive Lu Bu. Lu Bu believed Dao Chan and took up his weapon in order to assassinate Dong. I will slay her for the Po Nani Nani. Ambition, justice, and obligation of her iron topics were swirling around the capital. <laughs> <laughs> Will the blade of Lu Bu and the thoughts of Dao Chao be enough to bring, uh, bring the end of Dao Chao's yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you a blade if you don't want to be. You don't want to be. <laughs> oh, but if you want to be a true hero of three gamers, you totally hit like, comment, or subscribe. You share this around with your friends. You want to talk to us? You want to talk to me? You want to talk to John? Bob, Bob doesn't really do much on this, but if you want to talk to me and John... You know, you go out of the description box, you look at our Facebook, you look at our Twitter, you go there, you say, hey, I'm awesome, you guys are awesome, we love you, yeah, have a good day. <laughs> yeah, okay, see you next time.